Now that we have the Today's Vehicle page formatted the way that we want, we'll go ahead and run through some basic steps. Best practice would be to go ahead and generate, create that repair order in your point of sale system and leave it unassigned to a technician so that it will populate here in the no tech column. From here, you can grab the tile, which is in this upper right hand corner where all the dots are, and you left click and hold that down and then you can drag and drop this tile into whichever technician needs the next needs to do that job and go ahead and release it. Then you'll get this pop-up screen that will verify, give you the opportunity to verify that you do in fact want all of these jobs to go to that specific technician or if you have a specific job that needs to go to a different technician it will give you the option to go ahead and select that other technician and then go ahead and apply. And now since I assigned one job uh, of the alignment to the CS Tech, the CS Tech also gets the tile. Now the order here from top to bottom is just like the old paper rack. Priority is at the top and this will appear on the technician's tablet uh, as a higher priority when they're going to do the jobs. So if I needed to get this job done sooner, I can just go ahead and drag this up to the top and that will let the technician know that this job has a higher priority. When you drag and drop the tile on the technician's column and approve the jobs for either or both of the, tech, the, the technicians, each technician will get an alert on their tablet for the jobs that they've been assigned. And so then they can go ahead and get those jobs done as well as uh, to get the vehicle inspection done and then complete that once they have gone through and done the inspection to let you know that you can review that inspection and start creating the estimate which we'll cover in the next video.